make this book three move is watch me. <laughs> I'll yeah. do it. I'm not happy about this, but so. uh, yes. So how it goes. Spider Man recently launched for PC. Some interesting files were found inside of the game when it was cracked open. Reported around and verified by VGC, there are several files inside of the game referring to quote PSN account linked and quote PSN linking entitlements end quote. Now this could be a reference to a few possibilities mainly, but the prevailing theory currently is there's going to be a PC launcher for PlayStation. As PlayStation continues to move into the PC space, it would make sense for the game company to open its own PC launcher for users to potentially link their PSNs for trophies or potential cross by uh, or, or potentially cross by or maybe to remove the cut from Steam. And uh, this is a quick note. They have opened a PlayStation on PC portion to their website. As a Christian, I think um, I actually uh, brought this up around the time when they were bringing PC games to or sorry, PlayStation games to the PC. And I I was kind of like, all right, when's their PC launcher? I honestly thought that would have already been a thing. I thought they would have had it ready by the time their big Spider-Man game came out. But clearly they haven't right. had it ready. I, I, I'm shocked. I, there really isn't a negative to releasing one, so I'm I'm kind of surprised they haven't. Well, I guess the only negative that I can think of is like I like freedom on PC. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. Is there not like some kind of integration between the Steam launcher and the Xbox launcher, or like, or it, am I just totally off base there? Um, can you elaborate, please? Do you mean like integration, as if when I sign I into thought... a Steam game, similar? So let's say Minecraft. So are you saying like sure. when I go on Minecraft, like does Xbox Live? Come open? Is that what you're asking? Uh, correct me. I, I thought that if, like, if you had purchased a game on one launcher, like, with Steam, uh, you would... Or, or I think it was the opposite. I think if you bought it on the Xbox launcher, it would also pop up on Steam. One or the other. But I could be off base there. Great question. I'm not a PC guy. Achievers, let us know in the comments if you know what that is. But as far Somebody as I brought this up on PXN is the reason why I bring it up, but they might be able to you might be able to find the game. That is true. Like it, it, they might give you dual entitlement from there to go on Steam. That would be surprising to me. But again, I, I'm not familiar with the PC landscape uh, sure. to answer that question. However, I think the possibility of having cross buy uh, on the PlayStation PC launcher with um, Sony products like the PS5, PS4, I think would be an absolutely huge win um, in terms of like just growing uh, some kind of audience outside of like hardware consoles. Um, there are probably a lot of people who are like playing these games for the first time. And maybe like eventually if, if you're sold on all these PC games that you're PS five games that you're playing on PC, maybe you're interested in getting a console. You already have like a, a growing library of games that way. And I think it'd be, that'd be a huge win for Sony in terms of like just, just growing their audience. Um, yeah. So th I, I, that excites me the most about a PC launcher. Uh, I also hate having like, seven different launchers on my taskbar but oh so i'm so sorry again. christian oh no you gotta click another thing it's annoying especially with like the ea you open up the ea uh, launcher and then it like opens up origin when you start a game like what's the point of having one launcher if it just opens up the other one yeah i get that it. thing is that's, that's frustrating no i get it I, i'm i'm joking around i understand a little bit because i have gotten a nicer pc so i do understand the the qualms that people do have when it's like multiple launchers but I can't blame the people for making one because it just cuts out the middleman. Like you get the hundred yeah, percent of profits. Yeah. So it really is like, again, I'm shocked that Spider-Man launched without this on there already. I thought they would for sure give people the option to, if you play uh Spider-Man on your PC, link your PSN account and get trophies. I I thought that was a shoe in for spider -Man. I mean, it's fucking Spider-Man. Like they would have made yeah. a lot of money off that. I feel like but they, they've lost. Uh, I mean, steam deals vary, I believe on publishers, but they could have lost like, 20 30 percent of their revenue so like that's not that's nothing well, to sniff at that's that's a great point that you think it would have happened by by for spider-man Spider that's my release. only that's my but, only point just spider-man itself i was like everything else sure. i'm like yeah that stuff you can throw out and you're like hey eh, you know we lose the money but it's not a huge deal spider-man probably will be there i mean it might have, it might it fucking might sell it won't but there is a potential on pc it could sell almost as much as fucking ragnarok like yeah. it, this is a huge game. Yeah, the thing is, like Spider Spider Man, Sony and PC stuff, like is like just Sony just operates kind of more slow going than than other companies. Like that's yeah. just how they operate. Like look at Discord integration. Like that's 
been taking a long time. Maybe it's more complicated than we know. Um, but I, I would argue that Sony jumping into the PC market has been like a lot faster than we than we originally thought. I agree. Uh, the, I agree. the gap has been uh, decreasing uh, as newer games come out, and I think the the biggest one that's going to uh, really emphasize this is uh, Last of Us Part One remake mm. coming out. Uh, like th- that's not going to be day and date with PC, but like they said because, soon. They did but say because soon. like that game went gold on consoles a month and a week before the game actually shipped points that like they're finishing up work on the pc uh version and that's going to come out I'm, I'm betting by the end of the month of if if the game comes out september it's september it does, 1st yeah, i believe yeah by the opening of october like 30 days out you'll you'll see it on pc so uh, i was actually like, going to bring this up with you because i really sat there and thought about this launcher for a little bit and then i thought about sony's interactivity with the pc space and when when I went to think about this, I felt it was going to be very telling with God of War Ragnarok. How fast did God of War mm. Ragnarok make it to PC? Now it's almost more fitting to see how fast Last of Us Part 1 makes it there. Because it really could be, like you said, it could be less than a month. And then that thing's straight up on PC. I don't think that's crazy to say at all. I will say, let's. I want to be definitive about this. I want to see how fast does God of War Ragnarok make it to PC. Is it a year? Is that's, it a year and a half? Be, is it six months? That's going to be telling to PC, uh, to PlayStation strategy going forward about how they're okay, going to treat the, the PC space. Here's the thing, though. Remake Part 1 is an older game. It like, is. It's, it's a remake. Yeah. Like People have played this game. Uh, development on it wasn't as long as God of War. That's why I think that, that gap's going to be so short. Ragnarok, they're okay. hurrying to get this game finished up just for consoles alone, right? right? For right. PS4 and PS5. Okay. I don't even think they start looking at pc until like like a month after it goes gold right finishing up like bug fixes and all that um and then you still have sony probably like debating like how long to wait before we even put it on pc because see that's that's what i want to know i want to satiate the console and i want to see what internal who internally is it herman holst like who's talking who's saying how long do we keep this on playstation what what's that number is it six months? Jim, is it a year? Jim Ryan, hold off. We'll wait a bit longer. <laughs> hold. It's mm-hmm. hitting the enter button. Hold. But um, yeah, that's that's just that's what I'm fascinated by because that's gonna say where PlayStation's heading in the future. Because I do think we are slowly getting a different PlayStation as the years go by in this yeah. generation. I feel like you tell PS4 mid generation PS4 Pro kind of people, hey, PC games are gonna be or sorry, PlayStation games are gonna be on PC. You'd mm-hmm. fucking laugh them out the room. Now it's now it's a given that their games are going to be on PC. Now it's the idea of how quick it's going to be. And it's kind of exciting to, to debate it because it shows a PlayStation that is open to um, competitors aren't the right word, but it, they're open to negotiating with other platforms, I guess is what I would say. Elijah, let's put a date on it, though, before we move on. For, okay, for when which- does Ragnarok come to PC? Give me a month. So it's November 8th. It comes out. So I will say. I will say. Um, May. May. Okay. May 8th. Pass around there. I'm thinking July. Okay. I'm thinking like towards the tail end of summer. Okay. I, I could see that as well. May is a little early, I feel. But they seem like they're going to be aggressive with this. So I don't know. I don't know. It is. It, it, I'm, I will be fascinated to see when this comes. For sure. Or maybe there's a world out there where during E3 time, and by the way, Ragnarok on PC. PT dubs, Ragnarok on PC. Christian, I don't know if you saw this. Um, there was a accusation put forward that uh, Call of Duty stole a skin from Dr. Disrespect.